Right folks, we're live here on the beautiful River Wye at uh, Belmont with the man himself, the new venue record holder, or should I say record holder on this length, Rory. And you're expecting a slow start today, mate. Yeah, it's taking a swap. All of one chuck to catch one. <laughs> but on the match itself, it took you 15 minutes, did it? 10, 10. Then to catch one. And then it was carnage. Yeah, carve it after that. But it, it is a special peg. Oh. It's, um, the river's about a foot lower than it was when, uh, when I was fortunate enough to draw it in the match. And it's a little bit clearer. We've not tried the pole yet. We're just fishing about a third of the way into the river. Just with us to where they feel a bit more comfortable. And we're trying to draw them in onto the pole as the day goes on, but for the time being it's just absolutely fabulous. It's just lovely Steve to be out, fishing. isn't it? Cold for you, stood in the water. Very cold, especially as I've got a leak in the waders, mate. But yeah. look at these fish. Look at, that. Look at those. As good as the day it was born. Oh. Are they fresh fish then, or have they been caught before, do you think? I think a lot of them are fresh. Yeah. I think there's so many chublets in the river that, that you know, each year they just seem to get almost like they're restocked in here. They're, they're just, it just seems to be absolutely teeming with chub more and more each year. Frightening. You know, in, in the summer you can go and fish a lot of the stretches sort of in the wild woods out of town and, and you just can't move to these small chublets. And then in the winter months they just, they just pack into the town here. And it just seems to be year on year the fishing gets gets better for them, particularly after Christmas. Yeah, you know, when we've had a few frosts, they really do pack in. You see it there, it's just unbelievable fishing. Yeah, that's frightening, isn't it? Just an eight, eight number four stick float. Well, folks, just to let you know what we're up to today, we've got about five or six videos planned with Roy. We've done a couple of them already, and it's all about how he approaches this peg so we're catching on the stick float now we're hoping to catch on the whip a bit later i think we will um but i've got to say personally folks you know this man's taught me pretty much everything i know about this river which isn't a lot but he's uh, he managed to get me to frame in the first ever festival on here he himself has won more money in recent years than almost anybody he is i'm going to say along with hadrian whittle the man to be and uh, I'm so glad he agreed to come out with me today to actually show some of his secrets another chill look at that slightly bigger bigger one. Oh, it is that's oh. a nice one isn't it my lord on the YouTube live look at that oh yeah. that is absolute perfection isn't it yeah and the fish ain't bad either pal <laughs> It is just a fantastic peg and a fantastic river. It is, it is. But, um, and the sun's shining. As I said, there's, uh, there's few better teachers when it comes to this style of fishing than Rory, in my opinion. So, hopefully, another bite straight away there. Oh. Can you see his float there, folks? Whether you can just make it out? See if I can zoom in for you. you can see it going down the middle of the river there. Look, there we are. See if we can get a bite for you. It's actually the coldest peg on the why I'm saying this. The sun never seems to reach this bank. A little bit closer in and seeing if they've come onto that pole line yet, but we're not quite ready. Let's get back on that float. You just cast it back in, isn't it? Or you can see. There you are, right in the middle. Look, there's a float. A few maggots. And just upstream of them. More than a few. Down she goes. It's coming into that dark water. See the float still? Oh, there we are. Ooh. Oh, did we bump one, sir? Just right, we'll let you catch one more and then we'll have to do some proper work. As I said, folks, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, peel. We've got Rory's tactics on the stick float, the whip. And most importantly, I think probably one of the most interesting videos from today will be efficiency. How you go about putting a big weight of fish together. As you can see, this video is only it's not even five minutes yet and he's had probably two or three pound in that time so oh and there's another one look right on cue so 
Mä voitais tulla keveissä. They're a better stamp, aren't they now? Yeah, they're good fish. It's very obvious that the bigger fish are just slightly further out into the river at the moment. Look at him. There he is, look. Probably closer to two pound than, than, than one pound, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Awesome fishing. Folks, we're going to sign off. I hope you've enjoyed that. Keep your eyes peeled. We're going to try, all being well and do a, a live in the members area a bit later as well. But, uh, Whatever happens, there's some great videos coming your way very soon.